Hi, welcome, Simon here, and hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to do a screen replacement on an Asus all-in-one desktop. This video is also going to talk about the teardown, what are the things that you can upgrade, for example, the RAM, maybe the hard drive. So we're going to take a look at what is inside of this Asus computer as well. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Let me go ahead and introduce you the model number. If you're not sure where to find the model number, if you take a look at the stand, at the bottom of the stand, it's going to show you the model number as well as the serial number. Let's turn it around a little bit so that my camera can show it to you. And if you take a look here, it says model Asus model V241EA. I know it's hard to see um, the camera is focus is not that great, but you can kind of tell it says Asus V241 EA dash RB001. And the computer should look something like this. Okay. Now, in my problem, that the screen here on the top right corner, there was an impact point. You can see that it scratched out the entire screen. So there was a, a damage here on the screen, and then the screen just, just kind of broke in pieces. Okay. So let's go ahead and get it started and take it apart. Uh, first, I like to identify. If you take a look at the uh, bottom of the um, the computer, you can see that there are one, two, three, four screws holding it down. So the the third screw and the fourth screw here is on the very corner. So all you have to do is to get a Phillips screwdriver and go ahead and remove that screw. Okay. Once you've removed all the four screws, they look the same, so it's okay if you mix match the screw. The next step is to go ahead and get myself a plastic prying tool. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to stick in between this cover here and the base. So go in between this. All right. Let's go ahead and give that a try. Go in between. You can see that I'm lifting off the screen. can see that I'm getting off that some of the the gap here that's how it's supposed to look like okay at this point what you want to do is be very careful lifting up the screen. You can see that there's a, a cable here still connected to that um, the bottom part of the board. What you want to do is you want to slide the connector away from your body. So go into that direction. Slide it away from your body. Lift it up. And you can see that there's one LCD connector right here. So what you want to do is at this point you want to Pinch on the both sides of the clipper and slide that LCD cable down. So pinch, uh, clip on the two sides of the clipper. I'd like to show it to you. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to pinch this thing down and slide it off. So slide it towards the body, so slide it down. And that's about it. We just remove the entire screen. Okay, now let's take a look here. Obviously that the computer was uh, removed by someone else before. You can see that the, uh, the hard drive is changed with the solid state drive and they just use a tape to tape it down. Okay, and I just want to introduce you where the RAM is going to be. You know what, probably not a good idea because there are so many missing screw here. I can see that uh, it's supposed to have a screw here, here, here. Some of the screws here are missing, so I can't really 
walk through the process to show it to you might not be a complete process so we're just going to skip the part of getting into the ram but if you want to get to the ram and upgrade the ram more likely you have to remove all the screws and remove this metal plate out and the hard drive should be right there sliding into the uh, the motherboard all right we're just going to focus on the screen replacement here that is my goal i need to change out the screen okay let's see Uh, to replace the screen, we got to unscrew some of the stuff here. So, definitely a lot of screws that we need to remove. What what I need to do is to remove all the screws, and then remove the bracket. So this is the bracket that is holding it down. So let's remove the screws. It looks like the webcam was already disconnected prior to this repair. What else is being disconnected? There's so many things it's not original. Okay, remove the tape here. Okay, that's pretty much it. <clears throat> this is the replacement screen. If you're not sure where to buy the replacement screen, uh, you, you want to go ahead and check out the link down description below. What I like to do is I'll link it to either eBay or Amazon where you can find the screen replacement and, and change it out yourself. Okay, so what I'm looking for is this model right here, MV238FHM-2. N20. Uh, that is the model I believe that we need to look for and that should be it. Alright so uh, I do not have the new screen with me because I want to check out the model here. Uh, I'm going to place an order for the screen. I'm going to check it out and if you have the screen all you have to do is just a reverse process. Uh, you might want to transfer the uh, um, this cable right here over to the new screen and then to install this you probably need to slide the plastic con cover back in like such so this thing got to slide it in first okay make sure you have the aesthetic tape to re-tip it back again uh, that way it helps to clear any elect electric uh, static stuff and then just put the screws back in and then reverse process to install the flex cable back to the HDMI, um, sorry, back to the motherboard and the LCD screen. Uh, that should be the process. So I don't think it's that difficult from now here onwards, but um, that should be it. All right, thanks for watching. I hope this video is helpful. And again, if you do find the video is helpful, all I'm asking is maybe smash the like button for me. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And if you want to do a super thanks, uh, and share and support my work and share your gratitude i really appreciate you for doing that um, and again i wish you all the best in the repair thanks for watching until next time uh, bye now